Hi guys, it's editing me. Quick note, this video was filmed either November or December of last year. Hence why my voice sounds raspy. If you remember, I did have laryngitis during this period. But I really wanted to get this review of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation up so that we can compare it to the new foundation from NARS, the Light Reflecting Foundation. So I'm quite interested to hear in your thoughts and feedback on this. All right, let's get into the video. Hi, people. Welcome to my channel, Bernie Playing With Makeup. My name is Bernadette. All my friends and subscribers call me Bernie. So if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the notification bell that way you will be notified every time I upload new videos just like this. Guys, I am so excited for today's video. I have never been this excited for a video and I've been this for a minute, but I'm absolutely excited for this video. And the reason why I'm so excited for this video is I'm going to be playing with this foundation right here. This right here is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation SPF 50. This is the packaging for foundation. This packaging is absolutely stunning. Even someone like me who don't really, you know, wave and that over over packaging, I must admit this is beautiful. It is a heavy, heavy, heavy glass bottle. I like the sweet how this design is like, like a very sleek with what looks like a dark brown black strips going on going across both sides and then you can see the foundation on the other two sides the the cover has the Tom Ford logo on it this foundation is just absolutely the, the packaging is absolutely funny now I will tell you what for $150 yes ma'am that's what I just said. This foundation retails for 150 American dollars. This foundation dropped, I want to say, late 2019, early 2020. And when it first came out, I was like, oh, $150? Okay. So, I did not bother picking it up, but this foundation was gifted to me, guys, and I'm so excited to try it and to give you my thoughts and my feedback about it. As I said right off the bat, the packaging is simply stunning. When I did get it in the mail, did look inside the box, trying to see if the makeup artist was in here or somebody. Because for hundred and fifty dollars, I want a makeup artist too. No makeup artist game is going to be all up to us. Okay, no makeup artist, just this absolutely stunning foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation with a luminous complexion enhancing finish. So the finish is luminous. What I really love about this foundation so far is it has SPF 50, great. You guys know how I am on this channel about us putting SPF on and SPF 50 is like perfect. And also for a luxury brand and a foundation that costs $150, I was pleasantly surprised to see that this foundation does come in 40 shades. That is unheard of in luxury makeup. For some reason, they just don't have a lot of shades and then the shades that are lacking are normally the shades for the deep skin women and men like myself. As if we didn't want to pay hundreds of dollars for some foundation. We want to try it too, Tom. So thankfully, Tom Ford decided, you know what, I'm gonna give everybody a shade as long as they can give me $150. As long as they can give me $150, I'm going to give them a shade. I have it in the shade 10.7 Amber, and the shade is described as being for deep, dark, warm, red undertone. Now, I do have a warm, golden undertone. I have not played with a foundation that, that is red and warm and red combined, so I'm hoping that this is going to work out. We're going to just jump right into this video today, and I am going to prime my face this is the luminous foundation and because it's a, because it's a luminous foundation I'm going to use this 
primer right here. This is my first time trying this primer. I recently received this primer also in PR. And it is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. We're gonna go a little bit more in depth in this when I review the foundation they sent along with this. I've done my skin prep already. And I also do have a little bit of SPF on, knowing that I was going to be using the Tom Ford foundation that has SPF 50. I didn't go in with too much SPF, but I don't want y'all to start thinking, you know, it's getting a little bit cool, so you don't need to use your SPF because you absolutely still need to use your SPF as long as you're gonna be out here. As long as you're gonna be outside, because even though it's cold, a bit cooler, saucier, and free blood. You know, it's a bit cooler. Oh, this this primer feels good. Oh, this, this primer feels so good. Oh, wow. Oh, I, okay. I love this primer. It feels so soft. I don't just say, oh, let's get back on track because we're here to talk about Mr. Tom Ford. So here's the foundation here. I don't know the consistency of this foundation. I didn't swatch this foundation or anything. I have not been feeling well. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping I can do a wear test. I did take another little mini break because I haven't been feeling well. We know how Crohn's like attention. If she's not getting any attention, then she's like, I'm just gonna shut this whole show down. And that's what she tried the other day. But you don't know me, I'm gonna fight up. I'm gonna go right back to Crohn's. So this is how much foundation I have. And here is about two, three bumps. Now, I think I do see the little bit of hints of red in this. So let's just see how, um, okay, so on my face, once I start to dot it on my face, I don't see the red. I do see it looking a little bit warm. Not necessarily as warm as I go for. Let's start with that right there on my face. I'm gonna blend my foundation out today using the Smith's foundation brush. They recently revamped their brushes and I did get a few. Thank you very much from them. The shade is perfect. Yeah, now this is the thing with natural hair brushes. As you can see, I did wash these the other night, but it is shedding. I'm gonna switch it over and use another brush. Since that brush is shedding and don't wanna play with us today, it's fine. We will use the Sigma F. 47 multitasker brush. This brush I've used before on my channel. I like this brush because it can be used for foundation, it can be used for bronzer, blush, it can be used for everything. I guess other than that, other than your eyes, but it's a really versatile brush. And it's nice and soft too. It's it, it has a good balance between soft and firm, and I can appreciate that. But y'all see this? The shade, the shade match is, the shade matches it, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with the shade match. It's a medium coverage, but my initial impressions, and this is just my initial impressions, right now, the way I'm going in with, I feel like I'm getting more of a light coverage, but that's fine because I'm gonna build it up. Tell them my mail for the monitor. So you guys can hear my voice is still a little bit on the fritz. She's still like she on she on my line. I don't know what it is. They have tried like troubleshooting, trying to see if it was anything serious, and thankfully um, there are no indications that it's anything serious. It's just laryngitis. I mean, my husband says I talk too much. Well, that's all it is. But like I said, I haven't been feeling well. The last couple of weeks have been very, very trying on 
on multiple levels. Like this too, like when, if you are if you are done your eyebrow with a brush like this, you will be able to skirt around your eyebrow. And the reason why I'm doing this is I don't know why, but I cleaned my eyebrows up using a mod from NARS and that shade is a bit light so I'm trying not to have my eyebrows be real. I was saying the last couple of the last couple of months, even since I've been even since I came back, it's been very, very trying on multiple fronts for me. But I'm pushing through. I'm a fighter. I've learned I've learned like Crohn's has taught me over the years just how much strength I have and it continues like to teach me just how much strength I have not just to deal with stuff physically but also to deal with things that can be mentally or emotionally challenging and one of the things I have learned lately I've always lived by this but it has really helped me to get through some stuff that's been going on is to not let other people for whatever reason come and steal your joy come and try to you know just mess just mess with you for no reason other than the fact that they can and unfortunately I've had to deal with that in the last couple of months let me do a full story time on it I'm probably I'm, I'm most likely gonna do a full story time because this is actually this is really a, a story. It is something that like my siblings and I keep referring to as a lifetime movie. Like we have this joke like they need to cut lifetime movie. A lifetime need to get banned from over here. We're watching lifetime and trying the stuff that they see on lifetime and you know like just. So like I said, just trying to steal your joy, like just because you're not in a happy place doesn't mean you're gonna cause me not to be in a happy place. And I've had to learn with Crohn's that you have to take every piece of happiness you can find because your health can go down so quickly and so rapidly, so rapidly, and it can go from zero to 60 and not in a good way. You can, be, you can wake up this morning and you're feeling perfectly fine and within a couple of hours, you are in the emergency room fighting or on the bathroom floor in, in mounts and in tremendous pain. So I try not to let people come and try to steal my joy just because you're miserable. I, I, I consider myself someone who really stays to themselves. I've always been that way. I was raised in a house with like six kids, sometimes more, because I had step siblings. I have step siblings who so would sometimes come and stay with us. And I was always that one who always wanted to be by myself and just you know, was in my own little world and I'm still just like that. But it comes off, I guess, to some people, if they don't take the time to get to know me, it comes off as me being snobbish or snooty or however, whatever they want to call it. And then because that's what their feeling is, now we have a problem. And I'm like, girl, take your problem to Jesus I, Jesus or Oprah. I had it fixed it. I know Jesus has fixed it. So take it to Jesus Oprah when I'm gonna help you. <laughs> this foundation is absolutely beautiful. I am I listen, I don't have a foundation that costs 150 dollars I saw this when it launched and I was like, girl, how are you gonna pull that off? How are you gonna pull off 150 dollars on that statement, your bank statement? And when have you be like, um, was this a half a treat? And I'd be like, um, no, that was one foundation. Oh, that was one foundation. You can get the foundation outside. I'm just getting my husband is not abusive, emotionally, physically, or any in any other way. Anyway, in fact, he is an amazing husband. But you know, it's like $150. But I 
I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what were you waiting on? Because where has this foundation been? This foundation is stunning. It is stunning. The Shiseido primer I used created the perfect base for it. Check this out. It doesn't, I'm still trying to get rid of this during the halo. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, especially my fellow newbies, don't clean up the top of your eyebrows with, with a concealer or the same shade you're doing on the bottom because you see what's going on here? Hopefully it's not coming off too much on camera, but in person, I can see them floating. Are you seeing this? This foundation, listen, I don't know how she's gonna hold up. And let's just pray I don't get too tired and I'm able to do the wear test. So this has skincare in it as well. And it's supposed to be able to give you up to 12 hours wear time while maintaining the three dimensional radiance. Y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I can't tell me nothing, okay? Don't even try it. So that is everything that I pumped out, which I said was about two, maybe two and a half, three bumps. It's probably closer to three bumps. And this is how I am looking and I'm living for it. Absolutely living for it. This, this foundation is absolutely stunning. I feel my bit, first of all, super, super light. Doesn't feel like I have anything on. And I am just loving it. The shade was perfect, absolutely perfect. So far, I love this foundation. And you all know, I don't just say I like something if it was gifted to me, whether I pay for it or not. My loyalty is to my viewers. But without y'all, I wouldn't be sitting down here talking to myself. <laughs> without you guys, I would not be here. So I, my integrity will never be swayed because of PR or sponsored content or anything like that. So I'm telling you, when I tell you that this foundation is gorgeous, this foundation is gorgeous and it feels light. Now I know the price tag is hefty and but hey, the holidays are coming up. I've been told you guys before, I'm a big proponent of treating myself. So if you're gonna treat yourself or someone's gonna buy you a gift and you want to try this, so far, I would definitely recommend this. Tom Ford did come out with the shade and illuminate concealer. Unfortunately, when these items were gifted to me, that concealer was not yet available or it wasn't sent to me. A concealer was sent to me. So I got this concealer here. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. This retails for $54 American. Shade and Luminate Concealer retails for $90 American. Unfortunately, the shade range with this was not, is not deep at all. It has no, like, it's just not there. This only has 12 shades. The Shade and Illuminate Concealer, I'm happy to say that has 20 shades, which is perfect because the foundation is 40 shades and so the concealer is half that amount. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to find shades for deep skin like mine. This one here, this one here really had me because I looked at it in the picture on the computer what it and I'm like, oh, okay, so that's a decent size. It's 55, it's 54 dollars, but it's a decent size. This foundation is point, the foundation. Guys, this concealer is point 24 ounce. And this is what it looks like right here. That's what 54 dollars will get you from Tom Ford. Unfortunately, as we can see, my the shade that i have is really light Let's see what shade this is this was an older launch i'm happy to see with tom ford's current launches he is expanding the shade range and deep skin people we can play with tom ford too so i have number nine sienna this only has 12 shades so in the deep skin range your options would be obviously Sienna doesn't work because it doesn't work for it won't work for me. So your options would be 
10 chestnut, 11 dusk, and Madascara. I think you're pronouncing that right. And that last one is really, really deep. Like it is, it's deep, like deep, deep. I'm happy that with Shade and Illuminate, there, there's 20, there are 20 shades, who knows? I may just end up reviewing it on here. Cause this one here, I'm looking for. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this. I know like, I can remember when I did not like at all, like taking any kind of chances with concealers that were on the light spectrum. Now, I don't mind so much because you can apply it in a certain way and then use a to set, your, to set it down, to set the concealer, if you use powder that is close to your shade, it won't look like that's dark, bright, or like it's too, like it's in tiny shadow, you, you white, you ashy. It won't do that. But what I, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Mother Pat and I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath foundation. This is the shade, I think it's the shade 26. I'm gonna use shade 26. Yeah, 26, that's my foundation shade. I'm gonna use shade 26 because I do want to put a tiny bit that concealer on as well. This is the perfect time to stop and give this video a big thumbs up. That does help me here on YouTube. And if you are not yet a Bernie babe, I don't know if you're still waiting on, go ahead and make it official by hitting the subscribe button. Make sure to turn the notification bell, that way you will be notified every time I upload new content, just like this. So this is described as a full coverage, waterproof concealer with a naturally radiant finish. It says, that, it says that it complements every skin tone. I just said, how are I gonna, how is it gonna complement every skin tone if it don't have enough for every skin tone? Like, I don't gonna work at all. Just, I'm just asking for a friend. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the middle, a little bit like that. Here we are, we are all blended, and I'm still loving this foundation. I do feel like, and I think I'm seeing this a lot, right? I do feel like as I put product on it, a lot of the luminosity, it kind of faded away a little bit, but I still like it. It still looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna set the rest of my face using this olive and she wants it. Guys, I am absolutely in love with this. Haven't put it down since I tried it a couple of videos back. It is, I, I just, Love it. The only thing I don't love about it is I'm gonna need me a new puff because yeah, OCD. And the thing about it is white, and so even when I wash it, it still comes. It still looks. It still looks dirty because it's stained. I mean, even I know it's stained. It's not dirty, but if we have OCD. You could be telling that to your, your brain, you could be trying to tell your mind, you could be trying to tell you that all you want, and you're, you're like, nope, I gotta, I gotta stop using this because it's dirty, all I see is dirt. I'm like, no, but, you know, it was in the washing machine, and I'm like, nope, but it's dirty. So, we get this little internal struggle. I do like to take this under my eyes as well. I love the way it mattifies, but it doesn't dry the skin out. Absolutely love like that. Just because it's winter doesn't mean I'm gonna have me a sun kiss glow. This is what a $150 foundation looks like on my skin tone. So let's talk about it. So this this is the tone for it foundation. I absolutely love it. I've had it on. It is two. It's three. It's three. Just what four o'clock is 3:58, and I've had it on since about 1:30. And listen. She looks perfect. It it does it doesn't look matte. It, it does look illuminating and radiant, but not overly. There's no sign of dew or oil or anything peeking through at this point. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now I get that this is a very expensive foundation. I understand that, but today's luxury makeup review, and so on luxury makeup review days, we play with luxury makeup. Does it mean that you must go and take your rent money and buy luxury makeup? No, but absolutely. If you if you've been thinking about this and wanting to treat yourself, or someone's gonna buy you a gift, or you, you know, listen. It is worth $150. I mean, that's like hard to say, like, you know, foundation $150. But it is. 
you know like it just says it's a nice foundation you guys know i tell you i don't care if it's on for it i don't care what it is it is what it is so this concealer like i have i have thoughts on this concealer First off, I hope I get the shade and illuminate concealer. I do have another Tom Ford foundation that they sent me to review. It's the Traceless Matte Foundation. So hopefully I can get the shade and illuminate and review it. But this particular one here, the shade range is no so. Let's go back to the drawing board with the shade range. The, the, the shade range is just not there for deep skin tones. I don't think this foundation, this concealer was not, it was, in my opinion, it was not designed with us in mind, okay? And it's a full proof concealer. What I do notice, what I did notice with it, because I did put a little bit, a little bit of it, so I wanted to try it, so I put a little bit of it, like right in the middle with my, under my eyes. And as I was normally, I normally do that and then I put my contour on and blend up my contour and then I go in my eyes. This had already started to dry up. Like, like really, really dry up. It was, it was, it wouldn't budge. It, it was dry. It does dry down really, really fast. And like I said, I would really, even though Shade and Illuminate has, 50, has 20 shades, it is not too late on for it to expand, expand that shade range and give us melanated people one a few that we can try and then it's expensive it's it was i think it was 64 or something like that it was expensive i know that not as much as the shade and illuminate which is 90 but my take on it is i feel like i can't really review it beyond that my feedback on it can only be that the shade range is extremely limited and it is it does have as a full coverage foundation but it does set really really quickly so if you're going to use it you may want to not like let, let it dry down because it's gonna set really really quickly but you guys know to fix if it does just spray a little bit of your setting spray or a mist that you may have nearby on the beauty blender a light one and it'll move it this eye color from tom ford this is expensive it's 46 dollars and i have to say i was disappointed in it i felt like it didn't move it is it was very very difficult to blend it I don't know if it was me or, or what, but it was difficult to blend. But this isn't something that I could, that I'll could, see myself reaching for. I may give it a try again to see if using it with a different technique, a different brush, may make it perform better. But it isn't something that I am like over the moon about, you know. I always say this, the items that I use, I'm, I'm not telling you guys to run up there and go and buy them. I'm just showing you what's on the market in case you are interested in them and we get our take on them especially items that everyone else hypes up you guys know i love to test the hyped up items to see if it is actually worth the hype or not and i must say most of what i use today i was happy with especially that i don't know what i was trying to get what i'm trying to find out i'm but i really really love the foundation and everything else, I, I told you my feedback on, and that's, that's how I feel. Until next time, guys, please be safe. Bye.